Hey, what is up guys? Today we have this data cable with us. It's an EMX Type-A to Type-C 2 meter long USB 3.1 cable. I have some opinions about it which I want to share with you guys. Well, I'm your host of Technical. Let's get started. Now this AMX cable is a third party cable. So let's just talk about it. Let's start with the build and design and the overall look. Now this cable is built with the best in class wires. On top of that it has the stainless steel thread and a metal coating followed by a braided cloth which ensures the durability of the cable and it makes it robust. Now the ends, both the ends are made with metal and the joints are made with rubber. I think that it looks pretty dope actually. I really like that black and grey theme and I am kind of a fan of it. Also it's not going to catch a lot of dust and it's not gonna get dirty which happens with our traditional rubber cables because they get heated up and they tend to attract a lot of dust on their surface. Also it's a long cable, it's a 2 meter long cable. That's why they have given you a little small velcro functionality so that you can just make it a smaller package easily and you don't have to worry about the space it's gonna occupy. In my opinion the aesthetics and the feel of this cable is checked. So let's talk about the performance now. Now this cable is rated for up to 80 watts of power. That's a lot of power. The cell phone I'm using currently they are rated for 27 watt but the chargers they are just giving output of 18 watts and the fastest charging phone in India currently is rated for 50 watts power so even that's checked so the power is something you don't have to worry about it why would you need a high output cable that is because when you're charging with a high output charger say 30 watt or 45 watt your cable tends to heat up and if it's not good enough the covering and the wire might just melt up and it might just end up short circuiting your device this happens mostly with the low quality chargers and low quality cables so this is protected against that because it is having stainless steel wires inside and it has a metal covering outside which ensures that there is proper heat dissipation and you don't have to worry about it but this cable supports usb 3.1 so the highest speeds i was getting was around 90 to 95 mbps that's insane right these kind of speeds we see on hard drive on external hard drive connected to your pc but it was giving the speeds between my cell phone and my laptop now before you stop jumping into conclusion let me just clarify my phone is having a UFS 3.0 storage with a USB 3.1 port and my laptop is having a SSD and it supports USB 3.1 transfer speeds so before you start jumping to the conclusions make sure you're using it between some devices that support USB 3.1 to enjoy those high speeds because I remember the old USB 3.0 speeds that was just very low maximum it will get is 20 or 30 mbps and this is just three folds increased so i'm happy with the performance now let's talk about why do you need this cable the number one reason people end up getting a third party cable is because they have damaged their original oem cable and it's not good enough for charging or data transfer anymore but for me it's a bit different I don't think if you guys have noticed or not, cables which are given by OEM, they just tend to keep getting shorter and shorter with every iteration of their device they make. And the currently the standard size is 0.9 to 1 meter which is just way too small for using. You cannot just use your cell phone at all while it's charging. But I'm someone who uses my cell phone a lot and I need a long cable. I want to ensure that I'm able to use my cell phone to a certain distance while it's charging and that is why a longer cable now i'm lucky that i have charging ports near my bed and my gaming space where i play but not everybody is lucky about that and you might see a lot of people are struggling at night or any time of the day because they don't have the charging port near the place where they're going to use their phone now office desks are quite awful actually because the charger will go somewhere deep and the cable which will come out of the hole the proprietary hole is like just enough to put your phone on charge you cannot use it or you cannot take a call while your phone is charging 
and you might end up just taking your phone off and just putting onto your ear this way either your phone would get damaged the cable would get damaged or the charger this cable can withstand a lot of abuse and it can save you from abusing your phone or your charger getting a third party charger can be tricky because you want to get a charger which is just good enough for your phone and if you go for a OEM charger again they're going to be very expensive also if you end up damaging your USB port it's much worse because the phones generally are coming with water protection and if you end up getting it repaired you will lose your IP rating for sure now the number one reason people end up getting their port damaged the charging port damaged is not because the device has fallen it's not because it has been exposed to water it's not because it has been exposed to dirt it is because of their bad charging habits and yeah I've seen a lot of people complaining about the type C port not working as it should it is totally because of their bad charging habits and yeah getting it repaired might be tricky because like I said you're gonna use your water protection so instead of getting a new charger or a new port it is advisable from my side at least to get a better cable which ensures that these kind of damages does not happen to your phone at all so yeah well this cable is a quite expensive one it is a 600 rupees cable but third party cables which are good are not that expensive you can have a very good options starting from 200 rupees itself and it can range up to 1000 rupees but you don't need to go that far 200 to 300 rupees is just fine and i think it's a better option to get a cable instead of getting a charger replaced or your type c port replaced well that is it for this video guys i hope you liked it or maybe not whatever your thoughts are just let me know down in the comment section in case you happen to like it just drop a like over there share this video so that someone who might be struggling with something like this may get a solution and consider becoming a subscriber of the channel so that you're there whenever i'm here with some of my thoughts well that is it guys i'll talk to you guys soon till then take care and bye bye